Hey everybody, it is Tanya, and today we are in Panama City Beach, Florida, and we are going to go check out this Goodwill. So you will notice there is no sound in the background. That's because uh, they were playing music, so I had to take out all of the sound, so you won't be able to hear us talking. That is my daughter, Madeline, and I'm with my husband, Kurt. And my son was driving the car and he just dropped us off because he's too cool to go inside Goodwill, okay? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He wanted to listen to his music. So yeah, so this is actually the second time we have been to the store. We uh, did a vacation here last year as well. So it's a really big store. There's lots to see. So let's go see what we can find. I did not spend a whole lot of time looking at the clothes. I'm not a real, really big clothing seller. Plus it's so time consuming looking at all of those clothes. And I didn't want to bore my family too much with thrifting for too long. <laughs> so we just kind of made this a, a real quick little trip. But I was surprised because this store definitely has a ton of electronics um, and computer items which was neat to see because my store doesn't really carry stuff like that. So we're just checking out some of the knickknacks over here. More knickknacks on the bookshelves. So let me know if you see something that you would have picked up. Let me know in the comments down below what you would have picked up. So I always like to check out the coffee mugs. They're usually pretty inexpensive and sometimes they can sell for really good money. I do have some videos on coffee mugs on my channel if you guys are interested in checking those out. Now here Madeline found a solar system little project that she can do. And I think it was only $1.99. She's happy, so we're going to get that. <laughs> so she is really into space right now. As a matter of fact, her whole bedroom is space-themed. So she is all about that. So yeah, when we get back home, we're going to get her some paint so she can paint those different uh, balls, the spheres, uh, the different planets. And I think that'd be a really fun project for her. So I'd be interested know, to know if any of you guys have ever been to this Goodwill location. It is in Panama City Beach, Florida. And it was the only one around as far as I could tell. It's a really big store, too. So we did find some more masks over here. So we're just kind of checking those out. That one's really cool. It kind of reminded me of the Day of the Dead, but it was cracked or I would have bought it for sure. So, and as a matter of fact, I think the ones that I have at home, I think I'm just going to put them in a lot and sell them that way. I have so much inventory, if you will, <laughs> right now that I really just kind of need to um, group things up and sell them that way. This is an interesting little baby here thing. We did buy this. I'm asking her to look with her young eyes so she can read what it says. 
So it wasn't marked, but when I went to go check out, they only charged me 99 cents for that. So that's pretty neat looking. So this caught my eye. I think it's some kind of a lamp shade, but it was super heavy. And I definitely don't have room to be lugging that all the way back to Texas. So I was really just trying to keep it to the smalls. Looks like I passed up some clowns. How do you guys feel about clowns? I know that there's really no gray area for that. It's usually just black or white. Like you really like clowns or you really don't like clowns. So let me know in the comments down below if you like clowns or if you don't. So I think Madeline also found a little NASA little space refrigerator magnet and it was marked 99 cents. So we got that for her as well. She's so cute. She's my little helper. So we found a little Reese's tin. And we, we did buy that. It was 99 cents. She suggested that uh, when we go home, we could buy some Reese's candy and store it in there. <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> she loves candy. <laughs> of course, I guess what child doesn't. So yeah, tons to see. Oh, and this coffee mug was really neat. I had to get this. I believe I paid $1.99 for this. But it was really pretty. I love the colors. It's very elegant looking. And I loved how the handle was actually a swan. Really pretty. So this is uh, one of those Boyd's Bears, I believe. Those do not sell well for me. Uh, sometimes the plush sells, but I've not really had much luck with the little figurines. I just think that they're, they're probably just so mass produced that they just don't sell well. Okay, so let's head back over to the other side of the store, the main part, and see what we can find over there. But yeah, it was a very clean store, very nice and organized. I noticed they had changed the layout from last year. And you know what? This store didn't even really have very much jewelry. And the jewelry they did have was like all new, like fashion type, cheap uh, kind of jewelry. So it was nothing really that was vintage or that had been donated or anything like that that I saw. So tons of clothes, but like I said, I didn't really focus a whole lot of time on the clothes. But yeah, and that's pretty much how I shop in the stores. If something catches my eye, then I'll stop and um, actually take the time to look at it. But I'm usually not the type to sit there and go through every piece of clothing on a rack unless I'm just trying to kill time waiting for a doctor's appointment or something crazy like that. But I do always like to check out the linens. This is some neat, uh, a neat little set of vintage uh, green linens here. Sometimes the vintage linens can bring good money. They're definitely collectible. Sorry, my hair keeps getting there in the camera. This is a really neat pillow, but you can't tell by looking at it on the video, but it was kind of dirty since it was white. It had some uh, dirt marks on it and they were asking $10 for it. I 
And this is a cool little piece of furniture here. It was really heavy duty, good quality. You could tell it was um, nicely made. I might have considered picking that up, but again, uh, we were all the way in Florida and I didn't really have space to be lugging something like that home. I'm sure my husband would have been just thrilled if I would have purchased that. <laughs> you know what I mean, ladies, right? So I do always like to check out the shoes. Now these pink and green Crocs caught my eye from a distance, so I had to boogie on over there and see what they were all about. I was bummed to find out that they weren't my size because I love Crocs. They're like my favorite shoes right now. I love Birkenstocks and Crocs. And, um, but they are a size nine, I believe. And they were $6.99. So I'm gonna clean these up and probably list these for about $25 on eBay and Poshmark. Reminds me of like watermelon colors. So they're really cool. And I do believe that is the last thing that we purchased at the store. I do like how they had their jeans hanging like that. That's nice because it's easy to see the um, clothing tag. Like at the Goodwills in Houston, most of the places don't display their jeans sideways like that. They put them upright on the hanger, kind of like the way they're supposed to be, but this is actually, to me, a better way of doing it. Now, when I first saw these, I thought these were um, Lily, Lily Pulitzer. Hopefully I said that right, <laughs> but they weren't, but it was definitely that type of pattern like uh, she usually prints. So we are about to wrap things up here so we didn't spend a ton of time here, just a quick little trip. I wanted to show you guys what the Goodwill look like here. So again, please let me know in the comments down below if there was something that you saw that you would have picked up. And I did find another pair of Crocs. You just saw them. They were super small. I was trying to get Madeline to see if they fit her, but she just wasn't interested in those. <laughs> so she is pretty picky. But yeah, I really do appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for some bonus footage at the end of this video. We did take the kids on a helicopter ride and of the main strip there in uh, Panama City Beach. So it's really cool. So stay tuned to see that and that will have sound. So please subscribe if you haven't already, like the video and share with your friends and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.